What's up, guys? This is your daily energy reading. Today is August 29th. And the overall energy of this reading, super dope reading, it's transformation and the high priestess represents being intuitive, being in alignment with your true self. When I see the high priestess, I, I think of a person that is balanced with their masculine and feminine energies and knows who they are. And then we also have the death card indicating transformation and entering a new, more abundant phase of life. Um, this reading was brought to you by Gym Body, my new brand, and also the personification of beauty. Search my name on Amazon and will lead you to uh, my books. I highly recommend it. Anyway, we have the Temperance card being the first card, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Both the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles enters. I mean, the Temperance is you remaining calm and tranquil during a time in your life um, that is heightened. So, for example, this is you entering a new phase of life. You have the Ten of Pentacles signifying abundance, opportunity, growth, entering a new, more abundant phase of life. And the Three of Pentacles with partnerships, people coming together for you, partnering with you to help you make your desires manifest and um, your dreams come true, basically. And also, Spirit partnering with you to make it all happen. Spirit is saying, remain calm. Everything is going to work out. There, you're not going to have any issues. It's all going to work out for you because that's what season you're in right now. You're entering, you're, you're closing cycles and entering a new phase of life. Then we have the sun. Sorry, you can't see this this half of, half of it. Then you have the sun clarified by the two of pentacles, the eight of wands, and the five of pentacles. This represents, again, things going off without a hitch. Your plans going through, things manifesting for you, being rejuvenated. But with this happening, you're going to have to make financial decisions that's conducive to growth. You're going to have to be careful with your spending because the money's going to come in quickly. So Spirit is saying balance, remain balanced in your decision making, remain balanced in your finances to remain abundant. You know, you don't want money to go out as quick as it's coming in. So, Spirit is saying, make good financial decisions as this money is coming into you. Then we have the 10, another 10. We have, uh, we have two 10s so far. We have the 10 of swords, clarified by the king of swords. This is, again, closing out a phase of life and entering a new one. A more, one that is more in alignment with, you know, clear thinking. You know who you are now. You're abundant. But you you know what your purpose is. And you know who you are. And you're empowered by it. And then we have a world card here. Clarified by the four of swords. The, and the world again. And the six of wands. The world also signifies entering another phase of life that's better than the one that you are here now. And the Six of Wands clarifies, um, adds to it, success, recognition, a following. So your next phase of life is going to attract an audience, is going to attract success and achievements, a following, is going to attract the world. So you're entering this new phase, you're more abundant, and people recognize that. And you're being recognized for your achievements. Then we have the King of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, first of all, let's talk about this King of Cups. This is about balance and receiving. As you receive this, enter this new phase of life individually as a person, the King of Cups opens the door for a breakthrough with a partnership. So the King of Cups is about balance and the lovers is about balance too, but externally. So it's bringing you together with a partner. So this breakthrough in your life, this new phase of life, opens the door for a breakthrough in relationships as well. And it's working. You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Knight of Cups. This is all masculine energy with offers of opportunity, offers of love to establish a foundation for you. So it's like here you're single, but here you come together and you, are, you have offers as to a partnership. So it's making a decision to who you want to be with. Who do you want to establish this foundation in your life, this partnership, and grow together with? The King of Wands and the Four of Wands signifying who this is another obstacle that you'll have to overcome. It could also, <laughs> I'm not saying Leo no more, because this, this King of Wands keeps coming in my reading for some reason. Um, but it's like um, overcoming this obstacle of deciding who it is that you want to lay 
a foundation with that you want to, you know, grow with and, and, you know, lay the foundation of your life with, you know, you don't have to do it all alone. This is about entering a partnership as well. So whoever is reading this for, everything is going to go well for you. If this is what, a, if you needed a sign, this is a sign that everything is going to go well for you. Have nothing to worry about. Remain balanced, remain calm, remain patient as it's all manifest. But it's manifesting now. Whether you see it or not, it's manifesting now. You're on this journey of completion and on to the next of partnership. Thank you for watching. Please like share subscribe comment how are you watching this um, subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want to support me in my efforts of reaching a thousand pre-orders for my gym body sweaters please let me know comment support and i'll get you the link to so that you can do so i wish you love i wish you light and i wish you more life peace what's up guys this is ashley gillard with a twin frame reading for august 29th August 29th is the day that I am reading the energy, not necessarily the day that it resonates. A lot of my readings are like a month in advance. Like, you know, I was reading Leo season before Leo season. Right now, for some reason, a lot of my my readings are predictions for Libra season or energy for Libra season. So it's spirit telling us what to do now or how to work with the energy to manifest abundance in the next level during Libra season and union for some people. So... Today's reading was brought to you by my brand Gym Body TMC. Gym Body is um, an athletic and fitness apparel brand. We're starting with sweaters. As when we walk, go to the gym, a lot of us work out in crew necks and, and hoodies because it gives us a better workout. The whole brand is, um, I won't give you the whole spiel for the brand, but we have to make sure we're mastering our mind, body, and spirit. And mastery of the body and appreciation and love and taking care of the body as it is used as a vessel of light on earth. It is also brought to you by my book, The Personification of Beauty. You can find it on Amazon if you search my name. Okay, so first, let's um, do a reading, an energy reading on the Divine Masculine to see how everything is going with the Divine Masculine. Feminine, sometimes we have it um, better. And when I say feminine, spiritual people who are balancing masculine and feminine energies, we're enlightened. So we're coming from a place of enlightenment. We went through the phase of being the masculine or being more so physical based instead of spiritual based. And then we found our spiritual side. We were enlightened and we grew in spirituality. Now we're focusing on mastering them both and finding balance between them both. But we're coming from a place of already being enlightened. So it could be not easier but, you know, um, we know what's going on. With the masculine, sometimes the person who originally resonated as the masculine, you know, they're just now finding enlightenment. So they could use a little help. So, I, you know, I read these comments. Try to have mercy, love and mercy, care and understanding for our masculines, those that resonate as masculine. All right, Spirit of the Lord, let's come forward with a get message. That resonates with the collective. One of these trying, they're trying and trying to come out, guys. Y'all see that? Um, I'm playing reading August 29th. Come on, it's so fast. All right, so when it was trying to come out, um, now all of a sudden when I got control, it's not coming out. Interesting. So as I pull these cards, I'm gonna do it one by one because. This is my clarifying deck if I need it because, you know, um, that's how I'm doing it today. So we have the Ace of Swords as the first card. What does this mean? And we have the Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is mental clarity. Um, seven of Swords have been coming up a lot. So I need to figure out the connection with what the energy is that's going on right now. But with judgment right under there, and I'm going to take these two. So we got Ace of Swords, influenced by Judgment, and the Seven of Swords. This is mental clarity, but this is also a breakthrough. So the masculine, receiving a breakthrough as it pertains to divine influence in his or her life. So the Seven of Swords adds overcoming the obstacles in the way of, you know, receiving God's grace in their life or receiving abundance in their life or, over, you know, receiving love and kindness in their life. So that includes... Um, 
freedom. That includes liberation. That includes connection with divine partnerships. That includes desires being manifested. And the judgment is about, when I read judgment, I, I think of receiving. I think of, you know, receiving all that you've given. And sometimes we, in this journey, we give, 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 and we haven't received what we deserve. But this is receiving abundance and overcoming obstacles in the way of it. So masculine has mental clarity right now and a breakthrough in the thought process as it pertains to what it takes to get to the next phase of life or to receive love and kindness. And I want to say um, from the feminine, and I see the justice card right here adding to this. Interesting. Interesting. So a breakthrough. A breakthrough. I resonate with that. Um, yep. So we have the four of wands next. I did not say I want to say with the feminine. So the four of wands next. And the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck. So this is union. Quick manifestation of union. So again, 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 it's strategizing. How do I overcome this obstacle? I want to receive this love that the feminine has to offer, and I want it quick. I want to get together quick. This is quick communication. This is communication, but this is manifesting quick. So the masculine is trying to figure out a way of coming together quickly with the feminine. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting. You would think when they're in this energy that a person will pick up the phone and call. Or simply let you know they want to be with you, or simply why this is does not have to be so hard, but we have to recognize that it's also spiritual warfare. So we have the opposition fighting against it. So with every thought of love and kindness and coming together and break mental clarity and breakthrough to bring this partnership together, think of the opposition influencing or introducing another thought that oh this person is not going to want to be with you or you shouldn't do this or and then you have karmics in the way as well being used as pawns by the opposition and when i say the opposition i mean you know demonic influence um being used as pawns to keep this partnership apart so while on one end i might say what the hell is wrong with you just pick up the phone let's talk about it on the other end, I understand that there this is spiritual warfare, keeping two people who should be out together be together apart. Interesting, interesting. What else do we have? This is a lot. I'm not taking all those guys. <sighs> should I take it? The spirit. That's a lot. Okay. Nope. Sorry, guys. Too many hearts. They can give me less than that. And a lot of them keep falling. I'm it's not gonna happen. I'm just not about to read all those cards. Come on, spirit. Um, I'm trying to, I got a business plan to complete. Well, business proposal to complete and yeah, start off calls. She to do. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna take this too. So we have. Um, all right. So again, first it starts with mental clarity and a breakthrough in a determining how to overcome this obstacle of receiving love and kindness from the divine and the it, by way of the feminine and connection with the feminine and how do i make this happen really quickly so working on a master plan to bring you two together we have the eight of pentacles and that ten of cups here you know in the world how do i bring the feminine into my world i see this or this is like masculine energy thinking like connection with the feminine brings me fulfillment brings me happiness and completes my family so it will behoove me to find a you know a plan or a strategy to bring us two together quickly have some patience i want to say but how do i do this quickly how do i fulfill bring fulfillment into my world this feminine into my world um quickly so masculine working on a plan to do that all right so he knows what he wants he or she knows what he wants at this moment and working towards it. Even if he's not telling you, he or she is happening. Where is it? Or, you know, when that happens, I know it was a card that was trying to come out, but I don't know what it was, so I'll keep checking. What else we got? And we have the offer. <laughs> Guys, so then we have King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. We have the offer. 
finally, it's like, again, I already said this, working on an offer of fulfilling, fulfillment, bringing a feminine into his, his or her world um, after this period of a breakthrough. And then we have the King of Swords and Ace of Pentacles actually doing it, putting action to this plan. So strategizing and putting action to this plan. Guys, I'm telling you, expect something to happen soon. Expect things to start manifesting for you and offers to be coming in pretty soon. And we have the nine of wands right here. Expect it to happen pretty soon because um, he or she is not wasting no time. This person is ready. This person is ready for you. Yep. We got the page of swords right here. This person is ready for you. This person is ready to offer, make this offer and come together with the feminine. Is that enough information on the masculine right now? We got, we're 10 minutes almost into this reading. Yeah, mental clarity. This is what I want. This is who I want to be with. How do I overcome this obstacle? Coming forth with a plan to come together with the feminine quickly. A strategy and putting action. Making a clear decision to an offer to the feminine. Passionately. Very, a lot of passion in here too. You mean the world to this masculine, and he wants to add you to his world, he or she. That's excellent read on the masculine. Excellent, 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 excellent. So we'll just move these cards just in case I need to reference them. Um, let's put them over there. Oh, bottom of the deck. King of Cups, balance. Balance of the energy. Um, right under there, lovers. So yeah. Man, guys, 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 something is about to happen. These masculines are ready. Interesting change of circumstances. The masculines are ready and the feminines don't seem to be. But let's see what energy we get on the feminine. Let me see if I can read your energy if you're a feminine watching this. Because, honestly, that's enough. We know that offer is going to come in. But I don't mind reading the feminine energy. Because sometimes, the roles reverse. So, let's read both. Spirit, what do we have on the feminine? What is going on with the divine feminine? As it pertains to this reading. As it pertains to the offer that's coming in. Uh, as it pertains to the feminine that resonates with this masculine that I read over here. Guys, I hope your day has been wonderful. Ooh. All right, so we got the king. Look at this, guys. King of Cups. Guess who came out? King of Cups. Again, balance. When I get the King of Cups, I automatically think about balance. With Libra season, not being um, moved by what's going on. Um, yeah, so the feminine is remaining faithful, remaining in balance, remaining unmoved by circumstances, and continuing to have faith in the masculine. In the masculine, because this is fulfillment and happiness. Having faith that she, he or she will get exactly what they need in the person that they need and the fulfillment as it pertains to their family life so while masculine is working on the offer the feminine is continuing to have faith and it doesn't even have to be a particular person but faith that he or she will get the fulfillment that they desire as it pertains to a family yep 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 and then we have the three of pentacles under there um adding faith and spirit to bring this partnership together, to bring their love life, his or her love life, into a more fulfilling um, place. Yep. Ooh, man, guys. What is this? Oh, man. The feminine is lucky. See, this is why I like to read both energies. One, because sometimes I resonate with the feminine, too. So I want to see what's going on. So, the feminine is about to get some luck, but we have two tens here. Ten, ten, if you, if you know, if you've been watching my readings, ten, ten is, I come so that they may have life. 
and have it to the fullest. This is living your best life. The feminine is a fortunate change of events is here or near, bringing the feminine to living his or her best life. Again, so first of all, the feminine is already balancing him and herself. You know what's so wonderful about these energies? Both of them, king of cups, both of them in the energy of balancing both aspects of themselves. So uh, this is very near to union because when both partners are balancing, it brings and it draws you two together for union. As you complete the both, as you both complete cycles, and double tens as well is also completion of cycles as well and coming together. So actually, you got ten, 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 ten because remember it's a ten right here. I'm looking at all these tens, so lots of completion going on, lots of order and completion going on into the masculine and feminine's life. So anyway, feminine is coming together with some fortunate changes, blessings, opportunities a change in events in his or her life because you kept the faith. Things are going to work out for you, but like many blessings, you have responsibility as well. Responsibility to see your plans through. Responsibility to manage these blessings. So blessings can come in many different shapes or forms because um, we have the five of pentacles on here. So it could be financial blessings. It could be spiritual blessings. We also have the nine of wands here and hangman. Interesting. Perhaps this, these blessings are passionate offers. Maybe these blessings are coming in very quickly too with the Knight of Wands. And maybe how fast everything's going here is becoming a burden to the feminine. But again, that's a good problem to have. Remain still, remain calm. Know that it is all happening for a reason. And bring you happiness and fulfillment in your life. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Hangman adding. The hangman, when, I, when I'm looking at this right now, I see the color red, which is material blessings. But I also see that he or she is calm, knowing that it's all for his or her good. Everything is happening is for your good. Completing these cycles is for your good. It's a lot of tens. It's more tens in the feminine reading than it is in a masculine. Notice both have the Knight of Wands as well. So I feel like the Knight of Wands may represent the masculine coming into the feminine life with this offer. But it's so fast and it's moving so fast. It could be some sort of a burden for the feminine. But the masculine knows what he wants. So... You know, it's no need to, there's no need to, I mean, for him, it's no need to wait. But for the feminine, it's averted. Interesting. Yep. <sighs> Guys. It's like I speak the card up before it comes. Four of Wands. Yep, 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 yep. Guess what? Judgment. Guys, judgment came for the masculine. Judgment came for the feminine. Guess what? You cannot make this stuff up. Ace of Swords. This is a totally different, like, of course, it's a total different day. Ace of Swords. Interesting. A breakthrough. All right. I knew this is what was happening. So everything is moving quickly. Feminine's life is changing. Completion, completion, completion. Phases. You getting shit done, feminine. And it's bringing in abundance. It's bringing in opportunity. It's bringing in the masculine. The masculine is going to come running towards you. And when the masculine comes running towards you and want to move so fast, it, it's, it may slightly be a burden because it's, you know, your life is moving so fast at this point. Then you have union and you have judgment and you have ace of swords. So it could be making a decision, but as it pertains to union or as it pertains to a partner, but it looks like... And the tower is right here. So sometimes when things move so fast to the tower adds, um, you know, just emphasis on it. Like it's moving so fast, you almost feel like you can't control it. But with judgment and the four of wands coming at the same time, not only is this divine intervention bringing you two together, but that looks like a committed offer of marriage. That's probably why you're burdened. Somebody not only wants to be with you, but they want to marry you quickly. So it might slightly be a burden for the feminine and clarity of thought is needed, but it's like a breakthrough in a relationship, a breakthrough in a situation that brings you two together, a fortunate change of events, and people want to move like this. 
let me add another thing. This is one, two, this is two tens right here, three tens, four tens, five tens. Heavy completion. A lot of my readings have been saying that things are going to happen all at the same time and come in all at the same time. And I want to add the tower to this. And the six of swords right under there. And it's going to bring, um, it's just going to happen all at the same time. So, you know, mimic this energy here with the hangman. It's okay. You deserve everything that's happening in your life or everything that's about to happen in your life. It's okay. Remain calm. Remain still. You're blessed. Nothing but sometimes we think when all good things start happening that something bad is going to happen. Nothing bad is going to happen. You're blessed. Everything is going to be okay. I feel this energy. I can feel it. I can feel it in my, um, I can feel it in my heart. I can, it feels so good. It feels peaceful. It feels of when it, it feels like God. It does. You have nothing to worry about. What, do, what, do have, what else do we have for the feminine before? Oh, I just saw the, um, I just saw the, um, oh, child, I knew it. <laughs> I just saw the, the heart, the sword, the, I'm oh, sorry. Three of Swords, you know, you know, um, that has been coming in a lot of my readings for Libra season. September 14th is, ooh, I came up with some other stuff. Maybe let me tell you guys. But I know that September 14th, something in, enters Libra. Um, let me look. Let me look it up real quick. But let me tell you what I just pulled here. Four of Cups, Seven of Cups combination. Remember I said I was getting this reading where everything is going to start coming in at the same time? It's, you're not going to know which one to choose because it's going to be so many. The reading, the Twin Flame reading yesterday was offered from multiple men to a female. And he or she, and she doesn't know who to choose because um, it's so many. This is, it's going to be so many. That's what the burden is. You don't know which one to choose. You don't know which one to choose, feminine. That's a good problem to have. Some people not getting no offers. Some people's masculines are still running. Um, and they still chasing. So you're blessed. When you enter this energy, feminine, you are blessed. And this is not the website that I was trying to pull up with that tells me what's going on with the planets and stuff. Here we go. And um, what do we have? We have Mar Mercury enters Libra September 14th. Venus enters Libra September 14th. We have Sun entering Libra September 23rd. Leo energy. And we have New Moon and Libra September 28th. We have Mars entering Libra October 4th. Mars, Divine Masculine energy. So just expect some things to happen during this time period of Libra season starting September 14th. And um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. I mean, time will tell. And I think I'm done pulling the um, cards for the feminine. But, you know, the, here's the sun here. Union and the Hierophant right by the sun. But bottom of the deck, we have blessings. Abundance. But still singular energy and... We have Eight of Cups right under there, which is walking away from something. So, again, when multiple offers come in, you may not be able to choose all of them feminine. You may have to choose one. Yeah, I mean, you're blessed. You're blessed. Look at this. I knew that wanted to show itself. I knew that wanted to show itself, too. That was the Ten of Pentacles, and this is the Two of Swords. The moon is there. Stay, you know, get in touch. Why the higher font want to show itself in the sun? We know this is about you, man. We know. We know, spirit. We know. Um, but you're blessed. You know, meditate. Go within. When you resonate with this energy, it's a good problem to have. Some people don't have nobody coming towards them. So, listen, this is enough for the 29th. Expect this to happen soon. I thank you for watching.
I thank you for liking. I thank you for subscribing. I personally think you are the best. You are the most important person in your life. You deserve abundance. You deserve happiness. You deserve the goodness of the world. You deserve the love and kindness that God wants to bestow on you because you are a vessel of God on earth. I wish you love. I wish you light. And I wish you more life. Peace.